Ranging fire in PDP, Wiki's calm gives new condition for peace. This peace looks at a crisis threatening PDP's chances of making a comeback at the federal level after eight years in opposition. Despite deniers and mixed signals from some of its leading figures, the main opposition's People's Democratic Party, PDP, is apparently in crisis. The party has not known peace since it was swept out of power by the All Progressive Congress, APC. How did the party get to this sorry state? The party's current crisis, which is a fallout of the outcome of the June 30, 2022 presidential primary, is a culmination of a series of events which followed the loss of power in 2015. Following the loss, several party leaders, some of whom connived with the then opposition APC to end PDP's 16 year of dominance, dished the umbrella to seek their political fortunes elsewhere. One man, Governor Naysom Wiki of River State, stood out among the few party leaders who remained to salvage what was left of the PDP. Working along with others, Wiki's intervention in party affairs was not without controversy. In pursuit of an agenda for total dominance, the Rivers governor, along with his ally, former Ikiti State Governor Ayodele Fayoshe, pushed for a leadership change and foisted former Borno State Governor Ali Modu Sheriff as national chairman. Sheriff's tenure inflicted on the PDP a leadership tussle never before seen in the party's close to two decades of existence. It was brought to its knees such that it took the intervention of the Supreme Court to resolve normalcy with the interim leadership of Senator Ahmed McAfee. Not done. Wiki engineered the emergence of Uche Sekondus as national chairman, but they soon parted ways when Wiki wanted Governor Amin Tambua of Sokoto State as the party's candidate for the 2019 presidential election. The battle was so fierce that Wiki threatened their consequences if the PDP shifted the primary from Potakot as earlier agreed. He had his wish, but his candidate lost to former VP Atiku Abubakar. At the height of the dispute, the Rivers governor owned up to having a hand in the trails of his one-time political ally, Secondus, in response to a question of whether he had a hand in the move to oust Secondus, Wiki answered in the affirmative. A series of litigations followed and Secondus was edged out. Thereafter, party stakeholders came together and arrived at a consensus to elect the former Senate president, Senator Iachu as replacement to Secondus. It became the responsibility of the IU-led National Working Committee to prepare the ground for the Congresses at various levels, as well as the primary to elect the party's presidential candidate for the 2023 election. This time, Wiki indicated interest in running for the PDP ticket. When the primary was eventually held at the Moshud Abiola National Stadium, Abuja, on Saturday, May 28th, Atiku emerged victorious after pulling 371 votes to beat Wiki, who came second with 237 votes. A last-minute decision by Tambua to throw his weight behind Atiku during the primary dealt a mortal blow on Wiki's chances. While the Rivers governor was still licking his wound, another shocker awaited him. His supporters had expected that he would be picked as presidential running mate. But this was not to be. Atiku, who perhaps learned a lesson from his 2019 experience, consulted critical organs of the party, including the PDP Governors Forum, Board of Trustees, and National Working Committee, with each expressing different views. He subsequently set up a committee to recommend a list of candidates from which he was to pick one. Three persons, Wiki, Governor Ifani Okowa Delta and Udomi Manuel were recommended. Atiku settled for Okowa, but this obviously didn't go down well with Wiki and those sympathetic to his cause. Some of his challengers in this category include Governor Samuel Otom Benue, Ifani Ogwai Enugu, Ukezi Ukezu, Abia and Sheima Kinde Oyo, among others. 
It was learned that the Wiki camp is demanding, among other things, that the party's national chairman, Ayu, should step aside first for his alleged partiality during the primary. Secondly, that his continued stay in office was a breach of the PDP zoning principle. As things stand, the party's presidential candidate, the national chairman, and the chairman of the board of trustees are all from the northern Nigeria. PDP stakeholders are still trying to broker peace. A top-ranking member of the party who pleaded anonymity for fear of jeopardizing ongoing peace talks said, Truth be told, Wiki is not contesting for any office at the moment. He literally has nothing to lose. The Atiku camp has angered the Wiki camp with the conduct and utterances of some of its members. Matters were made worse by Atiku's people who went behind to broker meetings between Atiku and some of Wiki's people in a bid to isolate him. I'm aware that some strategists are working hard to isolate Wiki in order to deal directly with those in his camp who have something at stake. Several of the governors will be seeking a second term in office come 2023. Some will be heading for the Senate and hence those in this category will see reason to abandon a course of action which could jeopardize their chances. Party watchers agree that the current travails of the party PDP are deep-rooted and virtually everybody in the party's top echelon has played one role or the other in making it fester. A senior lecturer in the Department of Political Science, University of Jos, Joseph Anuga, explained that power abhors a vacuum. As such, when the party's founding fathers jumped ship and others stepped in to fill the gap, it would be income conceivable to expect such person not to seek to promote their own interest. He said, people join political parties as a vehicle to actualize their personal or group interest. Governor Wiki stepped in when others ran. You can't blame him for seeking to benefit from the investment of his time, energy and resources in the party. An Abuja-based public affairs commentator, Mr. Ado Adakole Moses, on his part, said, the party will soon be shooting itself in the foot if it does not find a decent way to handle Wiki's concerns. He said, since the PDP, like most of our political parties, do not have a structured functional system of financing its operations, a man who has helped sustain the party throughout its most challenging period would definitely have this sense of entitlement for whatever it is worth. The party and its candidate must find a way to reassure him and his supporters that their concerns are not being ignored. There's also a big challenge which both the PDP and any other party which intends to form government in 2023 cannot ignore, the Southeast. It is double jeopardy because this is one part of the country which has consistently voted for the party since 1999. Most Southeasterners feel alienated because they feel, and rightly so, that they are close to two decades of support for the PDP brand should count for something. Votes from the region may not be much when compared to the Northwest, for example, but the eventual winner must get at least 25% of votes cast in each state to be returned. The Atiku camp has remained upbeat about prospect of an early resolution of the impasse following a face-to-face -face meeting between him and Wiki for an ultimate week. Media advisor to the former VP, Mazi Polibe, told Sunday Vanguard, while final stage of talks, we are confident that most, if not all, the outstanding issues will be trashed out in no distant future. The PDP is one big family. A source in Wiki's camp said, we are not adverse to a quick resolution of all these issues, but will require significant guarantees to restore our confidence in the process. While a former deputy national chairman of the party, Chief Bode George, has led the move to oust Ayu in order to pave way for genuine reconciliation, the party leadership described his cause a personal opinion which was not reflective of the majority opinion of party members. National Publicity Secretary of the party, Debu Ulu Gunagba, said, Every member has a right to express a personal opinion. It is their right. 
This does not, however, represent the majority opinion of our members. Our party organs have met severally and have expressed confidence in the leadership of the Yosha IU led National Working Committee. He explained that calls for IU's removal on account of zoning were uncalled for at this time because there is precedent. The spokesman noted that when President Umaru Yaradua, another non emerged as PDP candidate in 2007, Senator Amadu Ali, also a northerner, was national chairman until Yaradua won the election before another convention was held and his successor emerged. Minority leader of the House of Representatives, Undudi Elumelu, speaking in a similar vein at a party event in Abuja on Friday, said, Those making such calls did not wish either the PDP or Nigeria well, he said. Those calling for the dissolution of the National Working Committee do not mean well for the PDP and Nigeria. What we should be talking about now is how to unite the party towards achieving the rescue mission. We are proud of our party leadership and we are with them.